What is going on my friends? Welcome back to another video. We are back at Peden RV to check out that truck camper that I saw, oh, now a couple weeks ago. Take a look. These guys even put it on this awesome truck for me. This is a 2024 Bigfoot. It's part of their 1500 series. I truly believe that Bigfoot and Northern Light and companies that do, I think those are the only two companies, but companies that do the two-piece fiberglass uh, build, it, it's one of the best built truck campers out there. And of course I was an Arctic Fox guy, I love Arctic Fox, but I think, I think from my personal opinion, I think that Arctic Fox has a uh, cozier interior. However, Bigfoot has a much better build quality. Let's obviously go see up, up top first. Oh, I love it. There is gonna be no leaks up here for at least 30 years, maybe even plus. However, you do have to take care of all the seams around all of the outlets here and the windows and all that. But look at, look at this. No corner seams either. Look at that. And it looks like they've already got a built-in solar panel at the very far end there. Okay, moment of truth. Let's actually go inside and see what it looks like inside a Bigfoot. We'll do first person right here. As you're walking through, this is what you see immediately. Folks, this is a completely different layout from my Arctic Fox. Like, completely backwards. I used to have, it's bringing back some memories right now. Oh wow, it's bringing back a lot of memories right now. I lived in a truck, if you're new to this channel, I lived in a truck camper for like two years. Um, I used to have my kitchen right here. Fridge is in the same spot. I used to have my dinette where you guys are sitting. And then I used to have my shower over here, which... is the exact same place that they have the shower. And it is an all-in-one. You got your double-wide sink here. And then I just noticed these blinds. Look at that. Super easy to use. And then also by the door you got this big skylight. Brings lots of natural light in. And this is much, I actually might take my shoes off. This dinette is much more comfortable than mine. I like how it's the big U shape. You got lots of space to lounge around. Obviously this table pushes down. This turns into another bed. Yeah, right here. That's it guys. This is so much more comfortable than just the classic two seats with the table in between. And you can even can you guys see me there? You can even put your feet up here. Oh, wow. Okay, where's the TV though? Oh, but I am seeing there's USB ports up here and a cigarette lighter or a cigarette, uh, a 12 volt port. Speakers, lights, where? I'm guessing the TV could mount right there. Before you hop in bed, you could grab a little snack from your this isn't the pantry, this is for clothes. It could be used as a pantry as well. How about this, you can go in the fridge and uh, your two-way fridge there, grab yourself a snack. Step up on, there we go. There's all, there's the water pump. You got your fresh water tank there. Step up on your little step. So one thing I'm noticing right away is that I was able to actually sit up in uh, in the Arctic Fox completely without my head. Where was I? Geez, now I forget. But anyways, this is how much room you've got. Um, I'm about 6'2". 
when I was in bed, uh, my TV was right here. So I'm guessing you can put a TV really anywhere you want, but mine was right here, had a swivel, so it could swivel out and basically be right in front of you. <clears throat> and I always remember looking down at all the space down there and thinking to myself, wow, this is all in the bed of a pickup truck. Now, when you do look out this way, you do notice that this is not a slide. Bigfoot does not make slide models. I'm almost 100% sure of that. So you definitely notice that compared to a slide model. However, the layout is, uh, it does make it feel quite big with this spacious um, lounge area on the right hand side. I used to carry my shotgun in there when I had a shotgun. <laughs> and then you got your little windows to, uh, to look outside. You have a massive latch up here. Wow, that's huge. So what are my overall thoughts? This is a really well-built camper. The inside is surprisingly nice and cozy and comfortable. I like the colors they've used and I like just the overall feel of it. Um, maybe a little bit more headroom, especially for me up here. I'm trying to think back to my, and, I, and by the way, I'm comparing this to what I used to have, an Arctic Fox. So I think the build quality here is better than an Arctic Fox but um, the Arctic Fox did have a slide, so it was more spacious in the living room area where you guys are right there. And I think just the interior, like the coziness factor and the way that the Arctic Fox made me feel, I like the interior just a little bit better than this. However, this isn't as far behind as I thought. Um, I, I'm, I'm quite enjoying the nice light interior and the colors that they've picked. Of course, that's just colors and I'm sure you can get different variations of all the colors and stuff. But I remember my Arctic Fox just being a little bit more colorful inside, making me feel a little bit better about it. And then the, uh, the bathroom um, could use a little bit more headroom, but uh, it, it is what it is. And when you're taking a shower, you're not in there for a long amount of time because usually you don't have enough water to be in there for a long amount of time. So you do have to crouch over a little bit. Even when I had that big um, bubble skylight above me and I did have some headroom to stand straight up, if I was anywhere out of that bubble, I did have to crouch down and shower kind of like this, especially with the wand. It's when you're in s smaller truck campers like this, there's just not a lot of space to deal with no matter what you're doing. But they did a really good job and uh, I'm really happy to have checked out a Bigfoot. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. <laughs> But there it is, folks. The one and only. And I'll see you guys in the next video, but I'm telling you right now that one of the next RV review videos that I do is going to be this.